That's right. Thank you, Tessa. You may know him as Jeremy Sherwood from Lifetime's hit show Army Wives. This past Sunday night, the show reached a series high viewership of 4.8 million for an episode that focused on the death of his character. Here to talk about the show and the Charleston Film Initiative, welcome actor Richard Bryant. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. You know what? First of all, you know, everybody loves that show that lives here in town. And 4.8 million, that is a huge viewership. Now let's talk about why do you think that show in particular was so popular? Well, um, we've never really had a death uh, for one of the main characters in the show ever. Um, and we've been advertising that, um, letting people know that it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and the fourth episode came along, and uh, I got hit by an RPG. Um, my character is a 20-year-old kid, and he's kind of representative of all the, uh, all the kids that are out there. I mean, the, mo the majority of people that serve in our military between 18 and 22. Um, and it just goes to show you, or we got to show the audiences that have grown up with this character for five years, um, you know, how it feels to have lost a member of your community, um, a son, a husband, a daughter. Um, it's, it's just such a powerful story and such an important story that we were blessed to be able to, to shed light on. And, um, you know, hopefully people can learn from it. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's, I was honored to be a, a part of that. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens with 4.8 million, million viewers. That's a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. And let's talk <laughs> about it. You them. said you're happy to be part of it. Yeah. How did you get into the biz? Because you got a good story because you're a hometown boy. Yep. Um, well, I, I started out um, with the Charleston Boys Choir um, doing music and stuff like that, which led to the arts, which led to musical theater, which led to theater. I went to um, Charleston County School of the Arts uh, for four years and studied theater and uh, did Guys and Dolls and a casting director by the name of Richard Futch oh, yeah. um, saw me <laughs> and kept me in his little database. And then five years ago, uh, he calls up my mom and says, hey, is uh, Bub still in town? My mom's like, yeah, he's still in town. And um, Coastal Talent was my agent at that time, so Coastal Talent um, got me the audition. I, I did it and got the part. Didn't get too excited because, you know, the pilots, just because you get a pilot. Yeah, you never know. You yeah. never know. The pilot might not pick up. Pilot picked up. First year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, here we are. Yeah, um, and here we are. And, you know, <laughs> I, unfortunately, your character did uh, get shown the door on the show. Yes. Um, yes. So what's next? I mean, where, where do you go from here? Everybody probably wants to know when they see you next. Well, um, I've got, got some lines in the water. Being a Charleston fisherman, got to you know, put more than one in the water. Um, but as of right now, what I'm doing is I'm auditioning here in Charleston. Um, videotapes, sending it to Los Angeles and New York. I'm with uh, Don Buckwald, which is on both coasts. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, going to school for biology. I'm going to go back to biology and, uh, and get a degree. And, um, the College and of Charleston right College here? College of Charleston yeah. right here. In and Charleston. you're also into music, too, I hear. Yes, I, uh, I play guitar. Um, it's uh, something I've been doing for, forever, and uh, you know, I need a little bit of money in between. So I've been playing the bar circuit around Charleston, you know, go on about 10 o'clock at night, get off at 2, and um, just get to sing my heart out and, and make people dance. So it's, a, it's fun. Multi-talented. <laughs> now, Richard, you're a big advocate for bringing more productions yes. like Army Wives here to the state and to the town. You know, why is this so important to you and what's being done and what should be done? Um, well, fun statistic, um, the most movies um, that were shot last year were shot in Atlanta, or not in Atlanta, in Georgia and Louisiana because they have tax incentives. Right. Um, and our, our state, we've been struggling with the tax incentives. Um, Army Wives has done so much to keep the tax incentives around because that's what originally landed our show here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's just so much money coming into those states because of, of the film. Why would we ever get rid of it? Uh, so I, I have to be an advocate. I have to, um, you know, stand up and say that this money that we're spending to get these, um, you know, these movies, these productions in here are, are paying back trifold. You know, it's, it's, we can, it, like, tourism alone, I mean, that could run forever. You know, Charleston is... Because yeah, people see this on is, TV, yeah. they see the backdrop, and they go, where is this being shot? And um, obviously a lot of it is military, but, you know, these actors do go out into town. Oh, yeah. And they, they, they sing the praises to everybody back in L.A. and oh, New yeah. York, and so it's known, it's put on the map. Yep, and the, uh, you know, our little stock footages of the uh you know the sunset um you know to the backdrop of the uh charleston steeples and everything yeah it's it's we're doing a lot to uh to sell charleston um and uh carolina film alliance um i, I do a lot of work with them 
they started up in 1998 to continue the uh, the tax incentives sure. and stuff like that. Um, but we're we're doing an event on April the 10th from 5 to 8 at the Hippodrome where we're just trying to raise more money so that um, next year when the tax um, incentives come around, you know, to the to the you know, we start to vote on it and everything, we will have everybody in the same um, mindset that this is something that we need. Um, and being a Charleston boy, it's uh, I went to Los Angeles and went to New York, but I, I just couldn't catch as many spot tail bass and crabs around there. That's you know? the thing, you know, it's, it's such a beautiful <laughs> place to not only, like you said, live and to shoot yeah. a production, but we don't want to lose stuff to, you know, maybe Wilmington, North Carolina, stuff like yeah. that, you know, Florida. It's exactly. so nice, and like you said, it creates jobs, and, and look at you, a product of what can happen, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Because there's uh, a lot of talent here in town, right? Oh, yeah, and, and the Charleston County School of the Arts, the place that I... Um, went to to learn my craft. I mean, it put me, I mean, granted, there's a lot of luck into it, but um, I mean, directors have told me that I've, I've, I've got it going on and I credit it to those directors that we have at School of the Arts. Um, our band, the band always, always takes first place. If they don't get first place in state, then, then, then they're, you know, doing everything over again. And uh, it's just Charleston County School of the Arts is a great place. And um, Charleston with Spoleto and just the yeah. arts that are around this city, um, <laughs> the love and everybody, in this city is something that just uh, cultivated cultivated me into this uh, into this art form. Well, you know, Richard, we wish you the best of luck, and we hope to see you soon. I got a feeling we will. You're a young guy. You got it going <laughs> on, like you said. Thank you. I'm sure we'll see him on the big screen here shortly. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. Great. Thanks all so right. much. All right. Well, coming up after the break, you don't have to leave town to experience the magic of Disney. We'll have a friend from Mickey's crew here live in studio with some magic. Stay with us.